Hey guys, welcome in this new video. I hope that all of you are doing great. In today's video, I want to talk about what is really a bad trade and what is a good trade. So let's actually get right into it. Before I start, as always, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you do that so that way you are sure to not miss any new videos coming out and also leave a like under the video. I would truly appreciate it. So what is a good trade and what is a bad trade? A lot of people think that a bad trade means a losing trade, right? So you take a trade, you lose money, oh, that was a bad trade, right? And then people will also associate a good trade with a profit. So you take a trade, you make a profit, and you're like, oh, this trade was such a good trade, right? So most people will associate bad and good trades to either, you know, losses and profit. That's not really what it is, all right? Because what you have to understand is that a good trade could end up losing money. And the opposite is also true. A bad trade could end up making money. So let me explain you what I mean. The way that I define what is a good and a bad trade mainly comes down to following the plan or not. So if you take a trade, well, if you did follow your plan, if you did follow your strategy, well, to me, that is a good trade. But if you did not follow your strategy, that is a bad trade. So you see that basically the way that I will define what is a good and a bad trade comes down to how and why do I take the trades versus that most people will define it because of the outcome. But the outcome is irrelevant in judging whether a trade is good or bad because as we said before, well, a bad trade could make money, right? Because when you take a trade, well, it could either go up or go down. You have 50% chance of being right. So if you take a trade that does not follow your plan, well, you might still end up making money, but that is not a good trade. So the ultimate thing that you have to remember about this is that a good trade is basically a trade setup that if you repeat over the time, if you take this type of trades multiple times over a long period of time, you will eventually be profitable. That is what I would consider being a good trade. So you see, the individual outcome of one trade is not what really matters. What matters is over a long period of time, if you take this type of trade over and over again, are you going to be profitable? If the answer is yes, well, to me that is a good trade. So they are basically two components of judging whether a, a trade is good or a trade is bad. Number one, following the strategy, following the plan. And number two, if you repeat this trade over again on a long period of time, are you going to be profitable? If the answer is yes, well, that's a good trade. If the answer is no, that's a bad trade. So you see, you really need to basically um, detach yourself from the outcome of individual trades because no one will ever be right 100% of the time, right? When you take a trade, you will either be wrong or be right. If you are a good trader, you will be able to be more often right than when you are wrong, but it doesn't mean that you know one individual trade is a good or a bad trade. You see that basically like, Individual trades don't matter that much. Of course they do matter because at the end of the day, well, individual trades are well build up your account. But what I mean is that just because the individual trade is a losing one or a winning one, that, that's a little irrelevant for the long term because you will make many, many, many individual trades. So the only thing that matters is to have an edge on the market so that over the time you can be profitable. But you know, you cannot judge your strategy or judge your trading on one single trade. Because when you take a trade, well, you could make money or you could lose money, right? Like you have a basically 50% chance of being in um, on one of these two sides. Um, if you are good, as I said, you can maximize the probabilities to be more right than when you are wrong. But the point is that even the greatest traders of all time, they have losing trades, right? Even the best of the best of the best of the best, they sometimes lose as well. So that's important to understand because a lot of people, you know, they, they focus on always trying to be right and always making money and all of that. That's just not how it, it works, right? Trading at the end of the day is a game of probabilities. So your goal as a trader, as I said before, is to maximize those probabilities in order to over the time have a good growth uh, on your account and be consistent. So 
That's basically it for this video. I really wanted to put this out there because I see a lot of people that don't understand what is a good and a bad trade. It confuse everything and it just mess up their own psychology. So that is the reason why I decided to do this video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like under the video. I would truly appreciate it. You can also share the video. That would mean a lot to me. So on that, take care, trade with care, manage your money well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.